Three, two, one. <laughs> Please stop. <laughs> In this video, I'm going to be shooting some professional shoe product photography. You need to pump your bum up. <laughs> Never thought you'd be telling me to do that. <laughs> and I'm going to show you behind the scenes how we would do something like that. However, I'm only going to be using my flat. I'm restricted to my living room. I'm restricted to only use any household objects that I've got. <laughs> What's going on? and I'm gonna see if I can create somewhat of a studio and actually see if I can produce some photos that a brand would actually want to use to promote their product. Last year, Team Gary V sent me an email saying they're gonna send me some new shoes. They're gonna send me Gary V's fifth signature model with K-Swiss. Obviously, I said yes, if it isn't gonna cost me anything, why not, I will accept the shoes. However, I'm a photographer and I'm assuming the only reason they sent me the shoes was because I'm probably gonna take photos of it. I took this opportunity to maybe flex my skills a little bit and hopefully if they use the images, they can shout me out and I get a little bit of free promo. So, so we got some free shoes, they're K-Swiss, Gary V collaboration, and uh, we're gonna see what we can do, see if we can produce anything as professional as what they would normally use to promote the product. So here is a behind the scenes look at how a friend of mine, Pete, and myself, just using my living room, attempted to create some professional product photography for K-Swiss. Like any professional work, it's important to understand what look and feel the brand has. What is K-Swiss's current photography like and is there a recurring theme? This helps us take inspiration and get ideas, but also keep our photography in line with K-Swiss's brand. With that in mind, both Pete and myself spent a good 30 minutes or so browsing their website and social media, trying to get a good idea of what they might be looking for. Now we've done that, it's time to get started. This is so sketchy. Look at this terrible homemade studio. Basically, the thinking is, if the backdrop's just dark in general, when we shoot with a 50, we're gonna use the 50 with 1.8, we'll have a depth of field anyway, so this background's gonna be so blurry that you can't tell that it looks like that, hopefully. But that's better than a white background or like a loads of walls or something, so loads of books that was there before. This is where we're at so far, we've got a black surface and a gray black background. Kind of. Now I've got some kind of setup to work with. We started with the basics, shooting some detailed shots of the logos and general close-ups of the shoes. Our next idea was to recreate something we saw online. This is what I want. We need to do something like this. Look, I've got a lamp, the circle, it's the lamp directly behind the shoes. We saw this photo earlier on that's not Gary V related, but it was a case with photo with Immortals, Icon, whatever that photo, whatever that shoe is. But this photo is sick and basically it's been lit from behind and then there's a bit of an eerie smoke effect going on. But the backlighting looks sick. So I've got this lamp. I'm gonna plug this lamp in directly behind the shoes so there's some backlight and then we're gonna close all the blinds and stuff off. So let's, let's just see what we can do. We wanted to create an atmosphere that made the shoe glow and look cinematic, but also levitate in the air. To make the shoe appear like it was actually floating, I put a shoelace through the tongue on the back and let it hang down, which means I have to remove the shoelace later on in Photoshop when we start to edit the photos. We didn't have anything to create the smoky atmosphere, so uh, we just started spraying deodorant. Right, okay, now, now, spray. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> this is what's going on now. We've got the shoe hanging from a shoelace and I will Photoshop the shoelace out. We've got the backlight from this lamp to add a bit of glow behind it. And then we've got some the normal ceiling lights as a bit of top light. And then we've got white paper here to add a little bit of fill from the reflection. And then I'm gonna spray some random stuff and create a bit of atmosphere because we haven't got smoke bombs, but spraying might, I don't know. Just go for it, one, two, Three, go. Oh, oh, I'm getting rid of my arm. Hang on a minute. That's not bad. Yeah. That's as close as we're getting for that artsy shit that we want to do. What I thought was funny about this part of the shoot was the fact that the, the deodorant and the spray actually kind of worked and the backlight from the uh, lamp actually made it glow. So it sort of worked out and we didn't really know if it would or not. After a little bit of time in Photoshop, after I clone stamped a little bit of the smoke effect, after I removed the shoelace and removed my arm and just generally cleaned up the photo, we actually pulled something off that <laughs> looked mental. Here's the image directly from the camera with no editing whatsoever. 
And then this is the final image after it had been through Photoshop, after it had been through Lightroom, and after it was branded up as well to make it look like K-Swiss would actually post it. Here it is. I'm not going to sit here and just brag and tell you how amazing I am, but honestly, I'm so surprised me and Pete managed to get a photo that looked anywhere that decent. Not even using a professional studio, you've just seen it all. It was just randomly put together in my flat. I'm so stoked on this particular image. It, you know, I'm genuinely really happy with it. It looks sick. So now you know how that particular shot came out, let's go back to the shoot, because me and Pete had a couple more ideas, and uh, yeah, we kept shooting for a little bit longer. So here's what happened next. We're getting low. Flow Rider, good song. You heard that tune. <laughs> you, you not heard that song? Of course I have. Get low, get low. Get low, get low, get low. Of course. <laughs> This is like all the work we were trying to do with the and the dangling it and like all you need is white paper and a half decent light. <laughs> this is comfortable. Get up. This is nice. This is my bed. Your flat is inspiring me to tidy. Situation now. I'm going to put the shoes on. I'm going to lay on the bed, put my feet in the air. Pete's going to get a photo of said feet in the air. This is totally inspired by Tyler Babin, who did this in a recent video, just lobbed his feet in the air with, with some nice shoes on, took a photo. Looks kind of cool. So I did have a bed frame. I'm not just a weirdo that has a mattress on the floor, but I need a new bed. So I scrapped the old bed frame. That's why it looks like I just sleep on the floor, but it is what it is. Ready boys and girls? <laughs> oh my God, it needs to go further back. Pump your bum up. <laughs> Never thought you'd be telling me to do that. <laughs> Go on. Thanks for helping me shoot the photos, Pete. You're welcome. Interested in seeing a full Photoshop and Lightroom editing breakdown? Leave a comment down below and if enough people are interested, I'll make it happen. Without further ado, here is some of my favourite photos from the whole shoot, branded up and edited, ready to send to K-Swiss. <laughs> part of this whole process is to send Team Gary V and K-Swiss the images and I look forward to getting a response. If K-Swiss and Gary V respond to my email I'll let you know what happened. Go follow me on Instagram, I'll post all the details on there if they do reply with anything. But that's pretty much it from me, thanks for watching this video, me and Pete had a lot of fun actually shooting the photos. I hope you enjoyed taking a look at more of the behind the scenes, at what went on and how we managed to do it. This is definitely one of the most fun videos that I've put together on YouTube so if you liked it please leave a like leave a comment down below and subscribe that's everything from me peace out like hey up I'm Mike Chudley today on YouTube I'm going to show you how to make a cup of tea I'm putting that in the video <laughs> it's going at the end that's why I put record um, a cup of tetley or Yorkshire. Stop it. Do it for Yorkshire. <laughs> you need to uh, turn the cameras on when you want to take photos. <laughs>